Hello, hi everybody and welcome to my channel, Home With Me, Mrs K and welcome to my kitchen today guys. <laughs> this is where I will be doing my shopping haul video which I don't normally do. I never do any videos in the kitchen. I normally do them in my bedroom most of the time or sometimes in my front room. I don't like to do videos in here just purely because it's very echoey but today I have been banished to the kitchen because Simon is currently overtaking the lounge He's watching the football at the moment and there's no way I can get a shopping haul done in there without you guys hearing him swear or shouting at the referee down the telly. So I thought I'd come in the kitchen and show you guys some of the goodies that I do have. I did put up a poll the other day on here, so thank you to those who did take part in that. I asked you guys what it was that you would love to see, whether it was something from the range, home bargains, or if you guys wanted me to join the two together. So that is what I have done, as the majority of you asked for it to be joined. So I have got a couple of Christmas items here, a couple of Halloween items, and I've also thrown in some little homeware bits that I've picked up from B&M as well. So I do hope you guys stay with me and carry on watching today's video. Christmas stuff because I literally want to show you what is just here behind me because ever since I have picked these up I have been dying to come on and show them to you. These are brand new in this year from Home Bargains and they are just absolutely to die for. Guys look at the size of this bell. It is just so nice. I absolutely fell in love with it when I saw it and then I also grabbed this as well to go with it. How lovely is that? A gigantic bauble. It was just so cool. I had to bring these home with me. This one was, I think, $7.99. And I think this one was $5.99. They do come in different colours. So the bells you can get in red, white or black. And then these, they had white, I actually took the last white one, red and like a really dark Christmassy forest green colour. Now... I picked up these Christmas crackers because it has the Christmas red truck on it. If you guys have been with me for quite some time, you will know my favourite Christmas theme and decoration is the red Christmas truck with the tree on. I absolutely love it. It's my favourite thing. I've got them all around my house and I just think it's just so nice and so Christmassy. And it's just kind of like what people associate me with now. It's really, really weird. So I saw these in there, had to bring them home. Price really, really good as well, actually. These were only three pounds for a pack of 12. So you get two kind of different car designs, if you can see that. And then you get some stripy ones as well. I'm planning on using these for Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna use the striped ones for Christmas Eve. And then these car ones, I will probably use on Christmas day, as I'm thinking again this year, because I love it so much, I might do the red Christmas truck theme for my Christmas dinner table. So that's the crackers. I picked these up as well, 24 suction hooks. I bought these to use for my trick or treat sign, which I showed you guys in my last video for Halloween. These are just gonna be for that to go on my windows with. And again, these are great to have anyway. I've got greenery that I put up around Christmas time. So these will come in really, really handy for that. I think they were under a quid, so very, very cheap. I've also got some chocolate advent calendars as well, let me show them to you. I'm just gonna pull this stool out a second, guys, just to save me keep bending down there. So let me show you the advent calendars. So these advent calendars, I think were around three pounds each, I think, I'm pretty sure they were three pounds. This is the Malteser one, and you get the little chocolate reindeers inside. Jessica loves the chocolate reindeers. She also loves when they do the bunny rabbits for Easter. It's one of her favorite chocolates, so she's gonna really, really like this one. And now that my kids are getting that little bit older, I think they've kind of gone off the pound little advent calendars, you know, the little chocolate thin. They don't really like the taste of those. So I thought, okay, now they're a bit older, spend a little bit more money and get them the chocolate advent that they are gonna really, really enjoy. And then I've got this one for Jake. He's really gone into the Kinder Buenos. Did I say that right? Kinder Buenos. <laughs> I said Buenos. Kinder Buenos chocolate. 
so I saw this again in Home Bargains and I thought great he'll absolutely really really love that one and again I think this was around three pounds oh gosh guys I've actually got some bits in here from Tesco as well this is really turning into like an odds and sods video so I do apologize if you guys are getting lost so those bits are all from Home Bargains I'll carry with the Home Bargains stuff for now not Christmas related but they're in my bag so I'll show you guys I got myself a pack of new razors, you get four razors in there, really pretty nice yellow and purple colours. And then I also got myself another one of the shaving gels, which is the cucumber scent. I really, really love that one. I'm not sure what that's doing in there. Um, I also picked up some chocolate bars as well. I've got some lion bars just to put in our snack basket in the front room and some galaxy ripple chocolate. I do love Galaxy, it's one of my all time favourite chocolate is Galaxy, I love it. And then I also picked these up as well, I love shortbread, it's one of my favourite, favourite biscuits, so I grabbed those which are actually going to go in my Christmas cupboard. I do love a Christmas cupboard at Christmas, don't you? Um, right, and then I've got some bits here, again so random, but these are actually from Hobby Craft. <laughs> these are 99 pence each, this is the orange colour and then you've got a nice little I thought they were quite cute, quite cheap, so I should put them around the house. Right, and I've got some bits here now, which are from Tesco. Tesco have got some really cute, like, wacky sort of gifts in there at the moment. So let me show you which ones i got. This I just thought was so adorable, guys. Have a look at this. It's a jellyfish book light. Isn't it cute? And let me show you the picture on the back so you can see how it works. So if you're reading at night time, Sometimes Jessica likes to read it, but before she goes to bed to help her drift off. So I thought this was absolutely perfect. It's really cute. So you're going to really, really like that. And that was priced at £5. This I thought was really, really good actually. Great for teenagers and especially boys. Um, this is a tech cleaning kit, which I just thought was absolutely perfect. So it cleans controllers, tablets, phones. And inside you get a screen spray, a cleaning cloth and some soft like little bristles let me come closer so that you guys can see what is in there so you get the little bristles here which are great for like the inside of your phone to get all the dust isn't it cool i thought that was just really really good and i love the little tin that it comes in as well i think that was five quid as well and then i've got these two little novelty things which thought, again which is really really cute this is a stand a panda it's a little stand for your phone so it just kind of sits on the back with a little suction cup and then you can kind of have your phone like that and it will hold your phone up for you because when the kids want to watch youtube or something so i grabbed that for jessica i think that was three quid two pounds fifty or three quid and then i got this one which is a mini little boom box speaker i just thought that was so adorable i think this was pressed at four might be four pound and it is wireless as well which is great i just thought that was a great little naughty gift um to go in jake's christmas bag or christmas stocking Oh, I've got this from Home Bargains as well. Let me show you guys this. This is my new clothing rack. I just think this is absolutely genius. Such a great way to save space, especially if you've got a small flat or a small house. You haven't really got a garden. You can't really, you know, put your washing outside and you don't really want it all over, you know, the lounge or the kitchen. This one goes over your door. So I just thought this was absolutely perfect. That's what it looks like when you hang it at the back of your door. I thought this would be great. Great for the bathroom as well if you want to use it to hang wet towels on. I'm just going to find this so, so handy and useful. This is literally going to go straight on the back door in a minute. I've got some washing to do actually. Actually, I've got a lot of washing to do today, guys. So I might test this out today and see how I get on with it. I think this was priced at £7.99. Put that down there for a second. I have this little storage box here as well. Home Bargains have some really good storage boxes at really, really great prices. This was only $1.99 with the lid. And what I'm planning to do with this is I'm currently in the middle of going through all of my photographs. So photographs of the kids when they were little, my wedding photographs. And they are all in this like big, massive box. Well, they're in about three or four boxes actually. And the boxes are just not really needed. They're quite big boxes. So I thought I'd get a couple of these little ones and then I can store all of the pictures in here. I'm going to use my label machine, pop a little label on and put, you know, kids pictures, wedding pictures. I just thought it was a great way of storing all of your photographs and it just won't get damaged because the boxes that I have got at the moment are actually cardboard. So they are getting like really squashed and kind of yucky and horrible. So I thought this would be a lot more of a 
easier and nicer solution. But you can use them for so many things, can't you? So many things. Right, I've got another bag of paper home bargain, so let's stick with that. Pop it up here. Sorry guys, my throat's going a little bit dry, I do apologise. bits here let me show you these I've got these really really nice actually 100 curtain lights battery operated and they are in a really nice orange color so i thought i'd grab those for halloween i'm planning to use these above the window and then i'm going to put my trick-or-treat orange sign in the middle just underneath but i thought of another great idea for these because they are battery operated and they are orange how cool would these be if you don't have a fireplace like i've never had a fireplace but the last couple of years I've had like a wooden crate and I bought some logs from the supermarket and I used to have some red light bulb um, lights and I used to put them sort of underneath the logs so when you turn the light on it looked like your fire, like your logs was lit up. So again I thought once Halloween is gone I can use these, I'm going to literally put them sort of in and out of the logs, turn them on and then at night time it's like they've got a really lovely cozy fire without having a fireplace so yeah hopefully let's give you guys a little idea as well and i think they're priced at five quid um what's this one? Oh, these are the eyeball ones guys these weren't very dear these were either 1.99 or 2.99 i've actually had these for quite some time now so i can't really remember these are indoor use only as well um and you get 10 string lights there so they're like spooky little eyeballs the reason I got these is I'm actually planning to use these for our Hocus Pocus movie night. It's a massive deal in this house on Halloween. We always watch it in the early afternoon before we go out trick or treating. And I normally like put a load of Hocus Pocus decorations out. I make some biscuits, you know the little brown book with the eye socket. What I do is, oh, see I'm gonna have to video this and show you guys, because honestly I've got so many good ideas. I buy penguins, take the wrappers off the penguins, I then get a knife, and chop the penguins in half. And then you can buy these little eye sort of um, edible things to go on the cakes. I think Sainsbury's or Asda do them. I buy those and then I get like a small black icing pen and I kind of make it look like the book from Hocus Pocus. So I might do that again this year and show you guys. So that's why I got the eyeball ones for the book from Hocus Pocus. Um, oh, this, I really liked this one I saw it. This was really cheap actually. This was only $1.99. Have a look at that, isn't it cute? It's another Gary the Ghost, and it's got all the little pink, cute cheeks like the other ones have that I got. So I thought, yes, I have to get this. I have to match my water bottle, I have to match my cushion, and this is a um scent diffuser. Oh, this is a scent diffuser. Well, I just thought it was so nice. And again, once the diffuser's done, I can just use this as a really nice ornament to go on my bookcase. Gary the Ghost stuff this year in Home Bargains is so cute if, if you guys haven't seen my video you can go back and have a look at it it's a halloween home bargains haul so you can see the other stuff that i did get from there and then i've just got another gift here which is going to be for jake again like the kinder chocolate reese's chocolate is one of his favorite he loves it because he loves american sweets so i thought this was absolutely ideal it comes in a great gift box as well it was a little bit pricey i do have to say i do think this was expensive i think this was like between nine and 10 pounds, which is a little bit expensive, but to be honest, I really struggle when it comes to buying presents for Jake. It is a really nice gift, I do, a really, really nice gift, and he's actually gonna really like that. Um, I've got another gift in there, but I can't show it to you guys, because my mum is gonna watch this video, which is so annoying, I can't show it, because it's a really, really cute gift. What I might have to do is, when I have done like my parents' gifts, Maybe I can show you guys when I'm doing like my Christmas wrapping and show it to you then. Um, I just grabbed another one of these lighters for whatever really. The kids keep using mine, they keep toasting their marshmallows so I needed to get another one for like all of my candles and stuff. I got this, now I got these for my kids last year. Some people might find that a little bit random but I do like to get unusual stocking filler ideas and I just thought getting the kids Christmas shower gels was such a nice cute little different stocking filler idea so I'm doing it again this year I've not seen it in any other Christmas um, styles yet I've only seen the one which is this sleigh hedgehog one and the scent is vanilla snow fake and toffee sprinkle so that's that one which I think I'm probably going to give to Jake in his stocking once they bring out another Christmassy scent I will pop, pick that up to go in Jess's bag I can't show you that one which I really want to I can't show 
show you that yet. Should we go into the bits now that I have got from the range? I'm very excited to show these two because they are so nice guys, really, really nice. Oh, hold on, I might have another bit here from Home Bargains. I do have some more stuff from Home Bargains, guys. <gasps> so much stuff. There's me telling you guys, like literally a couple of videos ago, how good I'm being, stuff I'm not buying. <laughs> Now I've just had like bags and bags of stuff, don't I? <gasps> Look, I had more stuff from Home Bargains. Okay, let's finish up the Home Bargains stuff today. I've got this really cute little Christmas mug which goes on your Christmas tree. Have a look at this. Isn't it lovely? It's so cute. It's a little hot chocolate mug. Isn't it lovely? Really, really cute. How much did I pay for that? £1.49p. See, so yeah, I thought I'd grab that to go on my Christmas tree this year. I do love to get a couple of new baubles each year picked up these little pack of paint brushes just for stuff that I need to do around the house for Christmas and stuff. Sometimes I do a lot of crafting, so I thought they would be very, very handy. I also picked this up, which is really, really cute. It's a Happy Halloween sign, and this was priced at £1.99, so I'll be using it for Halloween to decorate these socks where I treated myself. These were so nice, I couldn't leave them there. Priced at £2.50, and they're in such a nice kind of brownie beige colour and I love the little bubbles at the bottom and they feel so soft as well so yeah I'm really looking forward to putting them on around the Christmas time they did have them in red as well if you would prefer the red colour right so let me show these to you I actually picked these up in the range these are cardboard paper mache coffin boxes these are priced at one pound each how good is that? Because if you were to go and hobby craft, these would be about five quid each, a pound each, fellows. So that's another reason why I bought these paint brushes. I'm actually gonna go to B and Q and get like a little mini tester pot. I think they're like around one pound something, one pound ten, one pound twenty. Probably in like a black colour, and then I'm gonna paint them for the kids, and then inside I'm gonna put like some sweets or something like that. I think I might do Jake's in black. I might actually do Jessica's in pink, because that's quite unusual isn't it you don't really see like pink halloween coffins so that's what i loved about these like you can paint them any color you want to go with your decoration oh guys have a look at this this is from i'm falling off this chair it's such a fat ass hold on there we go Jim. i got this from asda how nice is this look at it this was made for me absolutely perfect it's a is it a mushroom or they call it like a, a toad is it a toad? I'm just going to call it mushroom. But how cute is it? Really nice. In the nice beige neutral colour. It's going to go great in my house. I thought this was just it. I thought this was just a nice ornament. And then I realised it's actually a candle. And it smells so good, guys. If you can smell this, it is just absolutely divine. It's kind of like autumn pumpkins mixed with oranges, mixed with cinnamon. Just a really nice optional smell. It is so so lovely and what i love about this is i'm the type of person if i've got a pretty candle i won't burn it but i can actually burn this one because then when i'm done with the candle i've still got this nice little washroom when i'm done but it's just so so cute and um, how much was that did i say how much that was six quid i might have said how much it was guys i'm losing the plot i really am right now i have got a couple of really cute Christmas bits here from the range. I do love a sign. If you guys have been with me for a while, you'll know I absolutely cannot resist a pretty sign. Oh, guys, I've got some more bits from Asda. I'm so disorganised in this video. Um, this I picked up as well. This was five quid in Asda, and this is part of Stacey Solomon's new autumn range. Absolutely perfect for my house. That's why I had to pick it up. Nice sort of neutral colour, nice little brown um, roof there. I love what it says. The home is our happy place and I'm going to save this I'm not going to put it out yet I'm going to save this for our new house because it's just lovely really really nice and it's nice that it's from Stacey's range as well I picked this up as well for Jessica I think this was priced at £12.50 it was just so adorable have a look at that it's a really cute pink mini fridge and inside you get a load of cool cute stationery stuff I'm going to have to come closer just so that you guys can see how good this actually is so you get the little notepads here that's a picture showing you guys what is inside so let me turn it around so you can have a real good look look at these little lollipops they're just so cute those are rubbers and then you've got like a little bottle of 
drink here. What's the bottle of drink? Let me see. Oh, it's a pen. That's actually a pen, guys. Oh, my goodness. Then you have like a can of drink here, which is a pencil sharpener. I'm not really sure. What, what's that? I think that's like fruit. Oh, it's a notebook. And then you get like the little clips there at the bottom. And then all of these little stickers you can use to decorate the freeze door. Isn't it cute? I thought that was so nice. She's going to really, really love that in her bedroom. So, yeah, I'll grab that for her. I think I'm probably going to give her that though for her birthday rather than Christmas. Um, right, let me show you guys these really nice signs. Oh, I've just excuse me for a second, guys. I've literally just come over with a bit of vertigo then. Oh dear. I suffer with vertigo a lot. I get it regularly and I've just started to get it, which is a real bugger. I think it's where I'm just like up in and down in and just like crossing my eyes everywhere. Oh dear, I do apologise guys. Right, um, oh, let me show you these bits, I love these so much. Right, this one, so nice, but I can't remember the price of it, so I'm really, really sorry. I will try and find the price for you before I finish editing this video and then pop it up on the screen for you. How gorgeous is that? So gorgeous. I just love how it just looks like a real lovely kind of rustic Scandinavian sign i just thought the detail the design is just so pretty really really pretty and it's like it's on an easel and then you even get the sand at the back there really really pretty sign and then i've got this one which has to be my favorite if you guys love gingerbread like i do i've said this before gingerbread around christmas time is one of my favorite things to have my entire kitchen is covered with gingerbread because I just think because it's obviously gingerbread and it's baking I always keep it to the kitchen I love to make it look like it's a baking room basically so I was not going to leave this behind it's just so cute it's a really really good size and it was a really really good price as well really really cheap for what it is isn't it lovely really really lovely I've got a funny feeling as well that these are going to get snapped up as soon as they come out it is made of tin as well but isn't it nice really really nice that is right so then my last bag is kind of a mixture oh i've got another thing that i've missed showing you um it's kind of a mixture of all different home bits from various different places actually guys let me just shove these up here i forgot to show you this as well this is from the range another piece of christmas decoration this was really cheap i think this was only 1.99 so look at that Again, isn't it really, really cute? And it just matches with like the Christmas tree sign I just showed you. Really cute little red bill as well in the bottom. Really, really nice. I'm gonna pop that on my bookcase. If I've got any room on my bookcase this year, it's getting so full up, isn't it? I'm surprised if I've got any shelves left. Right, I've got some goodies here from b &M. Let me show these to you. I've got some autumn pumpkins as well. I've got Halloween ornament. Oh, we've got some Christmas candles in here as well. Right, let me show you what is here. Have a look at this. This is just the most adorable thing ever. Priced at five pounds. I love their little pink, cute little cheeks. They're so adorable. And then if you show you it like that, it's actually a candle holder. So you put like really long dinner candles on there and it sits in the middle of your dinner table. Isn't it lovely? Really, really nice. I have been collecting all of the ghosts, so I had to get that, I had to bring it home. These pumpkins are really good as well, actually. Priced at £1.50. I really like the colour. It's a really nice brown colour, which is really, really lovely. I do have to say, when you do pick these out, do look out at the top bits, because a lot of these are really badly made. You can see the stitching, you can see the stuffing, so make sure you do have a really good rummage when you do kind of look through these. But aren't they a lovely, lovely brown colour? So yeah, I'm going to put them on the, um, I don't know where I'm going to put them actually, on my mantelpiece or on my TV cabinet. This I got from B&M as well, priced at £3. And this is a laundry collection tin. It's got a really nice black handle on there. This is going to go in my laundry cupboard to probably um, keep all of my laundry pods or laundry bits in that I need. This was really cute. I picked this up in Next actually i thought this was really really nice what does it say adore the chaos because let's be honest everybody's family home is just chaos from time to time so i thought this was really really cute so i've got that to go in the new house oh these little autumn cups i bought i love these these are from b&m as well price at two pounds for eight cups 
And look at the design, so nice. Really, really lovely. You've got orange pumpkins on there. You've got some mushrooms, some leaves, some chestnuts. I just thought they were so nice. I'm gonna be using these for my autumn hot chocolate station. And then I've got some Christmas candles. These are really nice candles actually. I've got two colours. I'll go for the white colour, which says the most wonderful time of the year. And the scent is sugar dusted candy cane. And then that's the little label on the front. It smells really nice actually. Really, really nice. That was priced at two pounds. And I opted for the red one as well, which was just so adorable. Again, it's the same scent, but I loved the little label of the hot chocolate mug. So this is actually gonna go right next to my hot chocolate station for Christmas that I'm planning to do again. So it was really, really nice, same as that one. But it's just kind of like in a different color. And then my last two items are these ones. So this really, really cool hanger here, which goes in your wardrobe, or if you're you know, drying your washing outside, you've got the little pegs on and it's for you to hang your socks up to dry. However, I'm actually going to use this in Jessica's wardrobe and she's going to use this to hang her school ties on. I just think it's a really, really cool, fun way to hang her school ties. So that's why I got that. I think that was two quid. Yeah, two pounds for that. And then lastly, I want to show you guys my new rug bath mat, which I've got for the bathroom, which is going to go in front of the shower i have been eyeing this up honestly every time i've been there every time i've taught myself out from getting it and then i just keep going back and back and back so this time i thought yes just get it put it in the trolley don't keep looking at it and then yeah i brought it home it's just really really nice actually i really really like this so much so yeah that is gonna go in my bathroom how much was that nine quid for the bath mat so yeah that's gonna go really nice actually in my new bathroom and I pretty much think, guys, yeah, that's all the bits and pieces that I needed to show you today. Hey, thank you so much if you have watched this video all the way to the end. And again, apologies if this video has been a bit randomly all over the place from various different shops. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed showing you guys these bits today. I really, really enjoyed showing you all of the Christmas bits as well because I just love to see Christmas shopping hauls. They're my absolute favourite thing to watch. I just love it. Oh my God, there's like a wasp coming in here right that's my cue to exit guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video which by the way guys my very next video after this i will 100 percent be in our new house so i can't wait to see you there thank you all so much for watching and for supporting my page i love you all take care